Welcome back to episode B. Hey, Stefan, what's up? How are you today? You were saying the other day that you were working on some fourth work. What what courses are you working? We take this one out without anything destroying us. Like, especially it. Wow, that was a little loud. But yes, we can take it out. Did I lose sight of the river? Not really. Hello, chicken. Hi, Stefan. If, if that's you watching. you are a white sheep or a chicken taking you down wasn't uh, discriminating against any of the colored sheep but <laughs> right now I'm letting them move We're doing that to collect wool and to collect uh, mutton. Mostly the wool, though. Did they get up in that tree?
that one. Got that. We've done the time to kill sheep a couple of times. And if you're going to keep putting these guys in my way, keep taking them out. Thank you, game. Alright, any more deserts? Keep a lookout off to our left to make sure that we're keeping the water. Semi in view. They're in a fan. Kind of wish we had a Excavation, but this this pack doesn't have that. Still over there. Oh. Crimson Guards. I'm going to go around those guys because... Back further inland. Huh. It's like finding these in clusters. Cutting them down for the Ros. Before I had gotten that. Wow, this is like a big cluster. Wonder if a fen is where we see more of them. So it was recommended to me that I plant orchards and orchards of these and use them. Just, you know, plant them and then chop them down and plant them and chop them down and in order to get all of the rosin I needed. Because making the little spigot for it, the rubber tap, kind of pain in the butt. that part I agree with. 
All right, go keep going. And you know, if we find more, take them out too. This fen has a lot of rubble put in it, which, you know, that's good for us. See the river. The sad thing about this is that aside from charcoal, rubber wood's not good for much. Because we can't make rubber wood planks. Okay, there's our river. Some more rubber wood. Look at this, man. I found found more wild, mowing wild in the fan than I have growing at home right now. I see them popping down, so I know we're getting them. Which, you know, it's good. Right, so there's the river. Here's some chickens. Really? Why did it shoot it down into the hole? Because it's the best sweeper. All right. Piggies. Getting back into cold. Cold does not help us for desert. We may not be in cold that often or that much. Some horses. Like three different types of gardens right there. None of what we're looking for. Lavender. Hey. What is this guy doing in this tree? Yeah. 
you know, we probably should. Fix. So it's like that. Yeah, okay. Another dungeon. Does this one have fireworks around it as well? It very well could. We have not explored a single dungeon yet. Uh, and the reason for that is because I don't like dying, and it has been my experience that I tend to die in dungeons. More fireworks. So get closer to the river. There it is. Okay, so I go along the route. Some roaster. So this is pretty much what I did yesterday. I went around continents, land masses, looking for deserts. I tried to stay not right on the river, but close enough that I could see the river so that I could get a little bit more of what the inland looked like. On our mini map. And we found a hot desert, like the one that is on our home continent. But no, we still have yet to find a desert garden. And I think that's probably going to be our sticking point. Uh, I've never seen a nether guard that I remember, but we've seen the rest, so, I mean, it would kind of suck to not be able to get to a desert guard, right? Because that's, what I was working, and so I need a nether garden, and I need a desert garden. I'm still kind of afraid to go into the nether, but at some point I'm going to have to. And now that I've got a bunch of uh, capability as far as torches go, I can light up the nether, which means that stuff won't spawn except for piglins. And that's okay, except for zombie piglins. I might want to make a uh, wooden sword or something along those lines. I don't think this pack has shurikens, does it? It does. If I made a wooden shuriken... It only gives us 10 shots. And... It's only 1.5 hearts of damage. 
So, that being the case, blood infused wooden sword. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Wooden broadsword. Magical wooden broadsword. So that gives me 2.5 hearts of damage. That's 2 hearts of damage. That's no damage that we can see. What else? Wooden stake from butchery. That might help. Ah, uh, wait, hold on. We still have our wooden. No, we don't have a wooden spear. Okay, well, that wouldn't work either. All right, well, something, something wood to take care of zombie piglins. The other thing, not piglins, zombie, uh, zombie, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Pigment, zombie pigment, not piglin, pigment. Um, so, oh, I made it. Normally, I make jumps like that, or I try jumps like that and don't make it. Uh, we're going to go harvest mine hey 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 look at what's here oh we are in a lush desert all right so lush desert oh man look at this oh that's a tiny cactus man oh look at the tiny cactus for a second there i thought we were in black flynn but we weren't But, we've seen one, which means there's probably others. Uh, let's real quick pull the one that we've seen so we can keep a count. And so that we can actually see what it looks like, because it doesn't look like a tiny cactus. But, lush desert right? And I think that as long as we see still lush desert, that there's a good chance of us finding more of those. Just keep your eyes open. Look, we found some. One, at least. But one's better than what we had. Guard it. Okay, so that's not where we need to be. We need to be down there in flush desert. Get out of the garden and get back in the desert. Fix. is lighting this. I am not sure. Alright, that there, this here, put this here. Alright. Tiny cactus. Tiny cactus is not what we I mean, it's cool, but it's not what we're looking for. So should we do 
not sure. If I plant it and Lush desert, that's different. That's not something that I remember seeing before. But I'm cool with it because we found our first. Ow. The heck, tiny cactus. I'm tiny cactus. I'm gonna hurt you bad. Uh, this is kind of cool that we found this. Um, I wonder if I can plant it and use... What you call it on it? Uh, bone meal. I'm, I'm guessing no, but that doesn't mean the answer is actually no, right? Because... Heck, until just now, we hadn't found any, so now we have one. I thought for a second I was all excited because I thought the tiny cactuses were our desert gardens. And I was like, look at how many there are. We're gonna, we're rich, we found it all. But it didn't end up being the garden that I wanted. It ended up being tiny cactus, which makes sense. It doesn't, you know, the difference between the desert garden and the cactus is that little pink flower on top of the tiny cactus. That and the garden doesn't hurt us, but that cactus does. Lots of tiny cactuses over here. I'm not the only one falling to tiny cactuses or getting hurt by tiny cactuses. Either. See these guys. All right, so we've got one desert art. Right on the edge of that lavender field. And there's a meteor over there. And that's the end of 36B. We'll be right back.